You should be medicated. Fuck you, Brennan. I know you touched my drum set, and I want to hear that dirty little mouth admit it. You get out of my face, or I'm gonna roundhouse your ass. You swear in your mouth? Hello everybody, we wanted to introduce ourselves real quick. We've done a couple of videos already, but nobody knows who we are. So, uh, my name is Officer Hale. This is K9 Duke. Uh, we're both employed with the Altoona Police Department in Altoona, Iowa. Duke is an 11 month old Belgian Malinois who was recently certified at 10 months old in narcotics detection. Uh, we're going to begin our process for patrol work. So we're going to be starting learning that. Uh, we're both new to the program. I'm a first time handler. He's a first time canine. Uh, so it's a, it's, a, it's a learning experience for all of us, and we look forward to it. And we'd like you guys to join us on that journey as we learn and you know, advance our careers in this, in this unit. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. We'll do what we can to answer them. We look forward to uh, meeting some new people and, and, and uh, you know, enjoying everybody in this, this experience. So spread the word that the new guys are here, and we look forward to seeing everybody. Thank you. When everyone says you have a cute police dog and you're supposed to have a ferocious police dog, show them your ferocious face. Nope. Yep. They were right. You're adorable. You're adorable. So we go all the way down to the school and I'm like, he's not here. So we're working our way back to the house and I go, you know what? He could have went the opposite direction. Let's try that. Now, mind you, officers have already been looking for this child for four four and a half hours at, at that point. So we go up to the house, they pull out an article of clothing, they stick it down on the ground. I put coat on that and I went the opposite direction and it was immediate. We probably went a good 10, 15 feet, boom, starts dragging. So he's dragging me, dragging me, dragging me. We get probably two thirds of a mile away and Coda's going up towards the house and there's this house that's up on a steep hill. There's like a utility truck in the driveway there's a bunch of bushes around so i keep them in tight to me when we get into those quarters i'm telling the deputy hey he's alerting that there's human odor on this property like right here are you a good boy do you chase bad guys are cats better than dogs are squirrels furry tennis balls Okay, I, I'm trying to reinvent myself. So for work, I thought this was cool because when you double the bows, you double the power, you double the intimidation, and you double the respect. This shows I'm like well traveled, you know, like hashtag Wanderlust. Follow me on Instagram. Okay, so this was more like Halloweeny, you know, like maybe I make potions in my basement, but I also have like a big heart. This oh, you're mooing at me because you need your water. You would not survive mm -hmm. for 16 seconds in the wild. You. You'd probably walk up to a wolf and ask him for food. You would not be able to find water in the wild if a water truck hit you in the face. God, look, oh my God, I thought he was going to drink off the tray. This fluffy tail would not survive in the wild for 30 seconds. And you, you'd starve in the first hour. I don't know how. I don't know how. You got enough chunk to last four years, but you'd somehow starve in the first hour. If I returned you back to your home base, Alaska, oh, you'd be done for, Malo. You'd be so done for. You would literally walk up to a wolf and be like, hey, man, got any food for me? And then you'd become a long, year-long meal. So here's this precious new girl that we just brought in. They found her literally in a blizzard in Big Bear Mountain. She was going car to car trying to find someone to let her in the car. She's so tired. She's had such an exhausting few days. They found the old owner, but the old owner said that they don't want her anymore. Uh, so we just introduced her to Hutch and Titan. Titan was kind of an asshole, but Hutch didn't care. But she, uh, she definitely has been hit before because I have to approach her so slowly and touch her so slowly, and yet she's still very flinchy and very hesitant. If I move any faster than this, she, she gets scared. So hopefully she'll get used to us pretty quickly. 
We're going to go shower soon, and then we're going to go live and go to Petco to go shopping for her. So uh, we'll let you guys know when we go live. Serving USA. You'll catch up serving at Raider, look, it's the donut truck. We got to go get it. The best part of waking up. So some people before said it was my human odor that the dog might be finding, so I'm wearing gloves. Tie it off inside the latex glove. I'll put it inside the coffee. To make it harder, I'm duct taping it around the open seal. Give it a good shake to get that stuff to the bottom. We will put it in this locker with cleaning supplies. Find it. All right, so I'm doing it off lead again, just to show you guys, not cueing the dog in any way, just letting him do his thing. In this big room with lots of odor going everywhere, Coffee, substance inside the coffee, duct tape, coffee can. That's an alert. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh! Lower the trunk on his head and see if he stays target focused. This might be the hardest challenge yet. Okay, so we got a couple of these comments. Um, why can't he do what he's trained to do? What kind of police dog is that? So I had to take a breath um, before I answered this because I'm a very positive person. Um, if you've seen any of his other videos, you'd know what this dog's capable of. Do you think for a minute that if it's a behavior I didn't want that uh, we couldn't correct it in like five minutes? So quick inside little info on canine handlers and their partners. We love our dogs. We play with our dogs constantly. We have relationships with our dogs like you wouldn't believe. Everything he does is a game. His working is a game. So this little thing with him jumping in the front and everything, at the appropriate time, it's a game we play. I purposely leave it open a little bit. He tests it, he knows it, he pops out. I come back, he jumps in the back. Oh, you're in trouble. It's a game. If I need him to do something, he does it. That's a game we shared with you. Peace. So Mattis is trained in Dutch. Los. Off. Seat. Bargain. I don't think it's because we don't want the bad guys knowing his commands. He wouldn't listen to them anyway. But really it has little to do with that. It's more because there's sport dog competitions that are over in Europe. Like KMPV, Schutzen, French Ring. All these different competitions that the dogs are bred for to compete in that are very police-like. And we've adopted the jargon. And it sounds cool.